Hi everyone, Comic Book Reviewer here, this time doing another October themed review. And this one is on the Batman vs. Dracula. Now, as you know, the Batman vs. Dracula is a direct-to-video animated superhero horror film, which was meant to be based on the popular DC show The Batman that ran from 2004 to 2008. And yeah, we kind of saw how, yeah, The Batman would have its first and only sort of direct-to-video film. There were plans to do ones for Hush, which just never happened. And I know Alan Burnlet had hopes of making two more director video movies based on the Batman. So the premise of the, of the film is meant to follow Joker and Penguin breaking out of Arkham to find money in a sort of crypt at the Gotham Cemetery. And we do kind of see how Penguin unintentionally unearths the body of Count Dracula. And we kind of see how Count Dracula slowly regains his powers. And we see how Batman has to find a way to stop Dracula as well as his army of followers. And I think what I give the film credit, I think, is actually using Dracula in a Batman movie. I know there were two other unauthorised DC sort of films like Batman Dracula and Batman Bites Dracula. But here it is a good game changer because I think Batman can work with anything like H.P. Lovecraft, the Victorian era, a steampunk world. There's a lot you can do with Batman. So yeah, we are introduced to Vicky Vale, who is just kind of thrown in to be the sort of love interest. I think the problem with Vicky Vale's character, I think was just added in for the film to be the sort of potential bride for Count Dracula. And yeah, it's gonna go with the thing with Vicky Vale learning a bit more about Bruce Wayne. But I feel like they don't really do much with her. I think there was an intention to add in Yin and possibly Ro Rojas, given the fact their sort of role throughout season one and two. I also do kind of give the film credit, like it's not afraid to go too dark. Like, yeah, trying to have, trying to have basically vampire monsters, also kind of having blood, and Batman figuring out who, who Count Dracula really is. And yeah, again, I think when you also had the sort of Batman Dracula trilogy, which was basically an Elseworld story, I think I think you can tell the writers took some inspiration from that and wanted to do a alternative thing, showing how what would happen if Batman didn't become a vampire, but instead fought Dracula and saved the day. And I think it's interesting how, yeah, there are moments where I think Batman vs. Dracula can go darker, but you know deep down it has still got the same light-hearted tone. But I think it's still enjoyable. It's not bad, not perfect, but it still deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, but kind of okay. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.